What's going on guys, it's Risky here. Welcome back to some more Call of the Wild on my channel here today. We are on Light and Legs today with the um, the Mosin Nagant. I almost called it the Car 98, but that's not what it is. It's the Mosin Nagant. Uh, that'd be cool if we had a Car 98 as well. Maybe we'll get that in the future. But yeah, we're here with the Mosin Nagant today. I've been dying to uh, use this gun again. So we have the uh, rusty little version today. You can kind of see it's a little bit worn out. I think this is called the Frontliner or something. The Defender. I can't remember which one is which. Um... I think the Defender is the clean one, and the front line is this one, and it's the dirty one. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I decided to come out here on Late and Lake today, because we have the white tail, the black tail, and, you know, smaller game, anim not smaller game, but smaller, easier targets, I guess, other than when the last time we used it, you know, we were going against red deer and stuff, which are pretty strong compared to, like, white tail. Oh, hello, my friend. That's a good start. Well, one thing I do want to complain about very quickly, yeah, one thing I do want to complain about, you heard me, is this damn thing right here. Look at this. I just changed the time because it was middle of the night. Look, let me fucking, can I sleep again? It costs $2,000 to sleep, dude. Originally, it's like 250 then it goes up to like 500 then it's like 700 then it's 1000 then it went to 2000 now it's 2500 I don't know, I literally haven't played this game for four days, and it's the first time I've slept. And it, it cost me $2,000 to change the time. I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't really care. But, like, what the hell, man? But look at these bucks coming in. That's a good sign. We got a black tail and another black tail back there. Level 3. I do have my grunt collar on me. So, I'm going to try and call in one of these bucks. If not, we can try and uh, get all three of them. There's some more coming out of the woods over there. So, yeah. Looks like we're bringing down some bucks here pretty early off in the video. So, that's really good. Alrighty. Got ourselves a level 3 there. A level 3 there is a doe. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. They're about 90 yards. Uh, I guess we can just zero in for 75. And I'm going to try and take this guy from this angle. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to shoot him yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I get a better angle. Angle. This one is better than that one. But, actually, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little bit more patient in this. There's no need to rush. We do got this one right there. He looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take a shot at him. I think we hit him pretty damn good. The doze is running off. Eh, I was going to take a neck shot on her, but I think I think we got this one. I think he's going to go down pretty quickly. Looks like it's pretty darn capable. We got medium blood, and he's already dead up here. I don't know if this is going to be a 100% quick kill. I don't think it is. He looks like he ran a little bit too far. I don't think he died that fast, but we'll see. I'm going to climb him up, and it was 100% quick, quick kill. It's just our... Consecutive harvest is at zero, but that's not a big problem. So, a single lung on the black-tailed deer with the Mosin Nagant will drop them for 100% quick kill. So, that's really good. Uh, I'm assuming double lung will drop them way faster than that. Uh, so, I guess we'll try and test that out once I come across another deer. We had like five or six bucks in this area, so I'm sure it won't be super hard. Alright, so we got some bucks across the uh, river here, or the lake, whatever the hell it is. I'm going to go ahead and get a range on them. And they're 130 meters out, so that means we're going to get the Mosin out. Zeroed in for 150. I'm going to try and get into like a clear spot from this grass. And the wind is not the best right now. So, oh, he's in a pretty good position. Let's try Okay, never mind. Come on, stop. Whichever one gives me the best angle, it's going to be you. 50-75 and dropped his ass. Just like that. He's just going to trot off. Let's see if we can hit a next shot. Nope. Oh man, if this was Battlefield, I would've hit him. <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my Battlefield videos if you haven't already. I'm a, I'm a pretty good sniper in Battlefield. It's just this game is so freaking sluggish with the aiming and Battlefield just feels so smooth. So that's why. This game is just not, it's not Battlefield. So, you know. I'm going to blame it on because it's not Battlefield. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Um. Uh, where'd you come from? You want to stop? You want to stop for me? You want to go ahead and stop? Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay, they ain't, they don't care. They're just going to keep on going. Alright, we're going to go for you guys next. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a moose laying down. Or eating. <laughs> a little shit. Alright, well, let's go claim this buck we just shot. Alright, let's claim this buck. Let's, if I can. There we go. Silver, black tail. Double lunged him. And dropped him right in his tracks with the, the, uh, the double lung shot. So that's really good. Double lungs on these deer. I'm assuming it's the same for whitetail. Um, definitely can drop them in their tracks, so that's really good. 
Nice. Not bad. I think next I'm gonna go for a heart shot. I don't know. We're just we're just killing stuff right now. What's that over there? Oh, that was a bear. I was like, ooh. I, I think I am gonna try and shoot a moose, so we do have that male that was over there, that uh, bull moose. Alright, so I managed to get that bull moose's attention. He's actually a pretty good angle for us right now. I'm gonna zero in for 150. I feel like that would... Actually, no. I don't know. If he ever lifts up his head... I'm gonna go ahead and prone here. Actually, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah. Stay there, buddy. Oh, man. That, he moved. I could probably still hit that. I don't know. I just don't think I hit hard again, but we'll see. Um, let's see the blood on this. I don't even know if it has blood. I don't know. We'll see if we can find this thing. If not, then we'll just move on because I'm not going to spend 20 freaking minutes. That is a nice moose over there. Holy crap. That is a diamond moose, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think that's a diamond moose, boys. Okay. But I have that marked where that moose is. But... I think it's a diamond. I'm pretty sure a level 5 is a diamond. I've killed one. That's the only other diamond I have. Like, like a good diamond is a moose. So if I can get another diamond, it's been literally months since I've killed a diamond. This would be pretty cool. This would be a pretty cool day. So let's go ahead and get the 7mm out and all that good stuff. And let's put it in our inventory and go and help. Go over there and try and kill this thing. Alright, so just got done trying to go after that diamond moose. I'll probably leave a little clip of what happened. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I, I just stopped playing for like 20 minutes and I just had to stop. I was about to freaking punch a hole through my screen because of how stupid this game is. I'll probably roll the clip right now. Alright guys, there he is right there. Um, what? Okay, I think I hit the log. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I hit the log, dude. Oh my god, I wasn't- Oh, this fucking game is so stupid, dude. So, you can see what happened. Obviously, the game is pretty stupid. I was literally nowhere near that freaking stump, and apparently I hit it, I think. I don't even know if that's what happened, but that's what seemed like happened. I have not even watched the clip back yet. But we're no, we're done. No more diamond moose for me. I'm not I'm not even going after it no more. So we're just gonna just keep on using the Mosin Nagant. We're not shooting no moose with the Mosin Nagant because I think I'll also include that clip because I did find the male. We Ooh, hey guys, I did find the bull moose we shot. I don't know why I did that. Uh, it is with the Mosin Nagant. Okay, I <laughs> wasn't expecting that, but okay, that's cool too. Well, we found that one. I, I looked over and I was like, that's a dead moose. I wonder. I was hoping it was the diamond, but. It's not. Alright, so this guy is perfectly broadside from us, about 150 meters away, which we can actually zero in for exactly 150 meters. So, once he sticks his little head up, we're gonna try and go for a double lung shot on this fella. Come on, buddy, stick your head up. Oh, don't turn, don't turn. You know what, let's just do it now. Okay, wait, catch your breath. Catch your freaking breath, you unsteady bastard. Ooh, that was not the, that was not the greatest shot at all. Oh, yes it was. <laughs> Oh, he did a freaking twister flip, dude. <laughs> a twister flip. What is that even? Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, that's... <laughs> Play that again. Play it again. Whoever whoever broadcasts my show. I don't know. What am I talking about? But that guy's over there. Hey, how you doing, baby? I don't know how far you are, but I hit you. I don't think I hit you that good, but screw it. We're the Mosin sniper, baby. All right, check him out. Check him out. Look at him. He has. He's just all kinds of. He he did a twister flip. Whatever I said that. Whatever a twister flip is. If I could claim him, thank you. Oh, that was a nice shot. Spine and double lung. From 148 meters away. Very good, very good shot. Not bad. Alright, so I'm liking this Mosin Nagant against these white tail and black tail and stuff, but um it's very good. It's fun. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I haven't really seen anything else. <clears throat> I mean I've seen a couple of moose, but we're not we're not shooting moose. Oh yeah, there's another moose over there. It looks like albino, never no, mind. Uh but yeah, I haven't seen nothing but moose really for the past couple of minutes, so 
Yeah, and we've had, a, we've had a pretty good amount of kills in this video. We've tested the Mosin Nagant on the Blacktail Deer and the Moose, and it does not do so well on the Moose as, you know, as I was expecting. But I had to test it anyways. I think there's something through that bush right there, but I'm not even, I'm not even worried about it. But I do want to say really quickly before I do the outro of the video is I'm going to be making a what we need in the 100 Call of the Wild video. So um, I'm doing that very soon. I've made a couple in the past, you know, talking about some things, some things that we need, obviously, because that's what it's called. It's called things we need in the 100 Call of the Wild. Um, but I'm going to be doing another one because I've thought of a lot of things that we've need that we've needed uh, since I've made those videos. Uh, they're not even like. They're not even like talking about guns and stuff. It's talking about like changes we need, like things we need in the game, like settings and stuff that would make the game so much more customizable and so much better in my opinion. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for coming along, hunting with me today using the Mosin the Gaunt. This is not the last time we're using the Mosin the Gaunt. Trust me on that one. I'm having a lot of fun using this gun. I think we're going to do some blacktail hunting up in the mountains or something here very soon with it on this map. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.